Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carly Stevens. I'm the author of the Tenuin Academy series, and this is English Nerd. So the Tenuin Academy series, in addition to Tenuin Academy stories, is available now on all platforms. So anywhere you would normally get books, you should totally check out uh, those if you enjoy YA fantasy. So as many of you know, I have made some Lord of the Rings related videos, not as many as perhaps my friends would assume that I have made because I am such a huge fan of Lord of the Rings. There was one, uh, 10 things that you might not know about Lord of the Rings, and then I did share my um, collection of Lord of the Rings related merchandise and there, there's quite a bit. But I thought because today is January 3rd, Tolkien's birthday, that I would do another video based on Lord of the Rings. This is going to be strictly Lord of the Rings, no Hobbit, because I feel like The Hobbit is manifestly inferior. The book is fine, the movies are not super fine, and so I'm just going to be focusing on Lord of the Rings only because that is my jam. Okay, so today's video is all about having the ultimate Lord of the Rings marathon. Now, disclaimer before I begin, I have only tried this once. Believe it or not, I've only tried this once, and it was in high school, so a, a long time ago, right after Return of the King came out. Um, one of my friends was a big fan, and so we watched all of them, um, but her, her parents came to pick her up right at the very end of Return of the King when there was only about half an hour left, so I haven't quite made it to the end, believe it or not, but this is something that I would love to do in my lifetime sometime, so um, hopefully I will find somebody who wants to do that with me eventually. Okay, so the first thing you need to do, if you are going to have the ultimate Lord of the Rings marathon viewing session, is figure out which ones you're going to watch. Are you going to watch the uh, theatrical releases, or are you going to go big or go home with the theatrical, the, not the theatrical, the extended editions, um, which are amazing. Um, the regular editions are about nine hours total, three hours per, and then the extended editions are about... Why is this making cracking sounds? Hang in there. Hang in there. Extended editions. I know you're kind of old, but I love you. The extended editions are closer to 11 and a half hours all told. I, I looked that up online and I think that also includes some of the credits and you can skip all those because those last, I don't know, a good 20 minutes at least. So with the extended editions, which is what I'm going to work with with this video, there are five built-in uh, intermissions. So each extended edition has a, an intermission built in and then an intermission between each, uh, each film. So you have about five times when you could get up, get some food, do all those things, and not actually miss any of the movie. So some necessary things that you should have with you. Um, have friends or family that are really into Lord of the Rings with you or that you want to introduce, but that's kind of an intense introduction. <laughs> um, so make sure you have that. Have cozy clothes, otherwise you're going to be dying because this is such a long time <laughs> to be sitting and watching stuff. Um, you need tissues because tears will inevitably be shed. You need to hydrate yourself with some water. You need to have all the, all the lights off or at least dimmed because if it's super bright then you just don't get the theater experience that Lord of the Rings deserves. And if you have Lord of the Rings gear, then by all means bust that out. And by gear I mean, do you have any clothes? Do you have any decor that you could bring out? Um, you know, set the, set the tone, set the mood. And again, I have a whole video of um, all of the, the Lord of the Rings collection that I have that I could, you know, in theory, I'll, I'll bring out. Okay, so you have those things, right? Next thing you need to consider is food, because if you don't eat that entire time, then people are going to be hangry by the end, and the whole effect will be ruined. So as you know, there are seven meals for hobbits. Not stopped till nightfall. What about breakfast? We've already had it. We've had one, yes. What about second breakfast? 
comes about second breakfast, Pip. What about the Levensies? Luncheon, afternoon tea, dinner, supper. He knows about them, doesn't he? So you can have up to seven meals, essentially. So what I would recommend is to prepare kind of uh, noshing throughout the the movie so you have different things to kind of snack on that could count as breakfast, second breakfast, etc. Now I'm a big fan of a theme and so once again here's my here's my recommendation. This is going to require a little prep the day before because heaven knows you won't have time the day of because you have to start so early unless you get up before the crack of dawn and nobody wants to do that. Um, so some things I would suggest, I mean you need potatoes boiled, mashed, in a stew, etc. You need tomatoes and nice crispy bacon, you need mushrooms, you need carrots, so a lot of a lot of kind of healthier vegetables. But you can also have some birthday cake, not only for Tolkien, because it's again Tolkien's birthday today, um, but for Bilbo and his 111st, or Frodo and his 33rd, as it is um, on the uh, at the beginning of Fellowship. You could also have some fish for Gollum, just cook that stuff unless you're a sushi master. Um, you don't want people getting food poisoning. That would be its own special thing. <laughs> Lambas bread seems like a no-brainer. What food have we got left? Well, let me see. Oh yes, lovely. Lambas bread. And look! More Lambas bread. So whatever lembas related thing you want if it's actual bread or in the movie it kind of looks like a shortbread cookie or something then get that get that lembas bread all together you could also have um you know cheese and turkey and and some of those things and just kind of create a, a charcuterie board if you will um, for people to snack on because who doesn't want to snack throughout a movie and Themed snacks are the way to go. Um, and then beverages as well. I said you need water, of course, but also there is ale if you're of age, um, then definitely have that. I mean, the hobbits the hobbits love it all the time. Ant draft, you know, what is that? I guess it's kind of, you know, up to you what that is. But have some drinks prepared as well, and people are just going to absolutely love it. Now. The movies are obviously very long and amazing, which is why you're doing this marathon. It's 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 good for the soul, but it might be nice to kind of spice things up a little bit, especially um, once you get underway in the movies and you're in hour eight, you know, and, and you need something to revive you. So a few options for ways to kind of spice up the experience um, are these. You could have trivia. Kind of throughout. Um, can people guess different things? And I have a video you, that you could use as like for some ideas for trivia questions. Um, you could do an exercise challenge. So, you know, just a couple of quick exercises per a character doing something. So, for example, you could have everybody do five jumping jacks anytime someone says shadow. Because they say that an amazing number of times or you have to do I don't know you have to run in place for the entirety of the time that Phaedon is on stage uh, not on stage but on screen something like that just to get you up and moving and kind of participating in in what's going on you could do uh, you could bet on different things, so you could bet on which character is going to be featured at 12 noon. You know, you pause it exactly at noon, and then whoever whoever wins gets some sort of prize. It would be cool to have a prize for some of this stuff, um, just waiting in the wings, because who doesn't who doesn't like a prize? And then last suggestion is having bingo, like a a custom bingo card. Now, recently I tried to look up an app that would do this, and I know that there are apps that will, but they were so confusing that just kind of gave up. So if you have a, a printer, that's the easiest way to go, or you can just have people kind of create their own um, based on a list of options, you know, characters doing or saying certain things or, you know, beheadings or <laughs> or what have you, and then, you know, whoever gets a bingo gets, gets a prize. So... The Lord of the Rings Marathon is 
kind of the the holy grail of Lord of the Rings fans. Hopefully, you are able to if you if you want to, you're able to find some friends who will do this for you. Not only is it Tolkien's birthday today, but as of last month on December 19th, it was the 20th anniversary of Fellowship of the Ring coming out in theater. So it's the perfect time to have one of these marathons. If you have any other ideas about how to make a Lord of the Rings marathon awesome, put those in the comments below. I would love to hear them. I was brainstorming, of course, but I, I know that there are lots of other ways to make the viewing experience really cool. So that is it for today. Make sure to like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit notifications. There are lots of things happening on this channel, um, both like academic and fandom wise. And uh, I have some really exciting projects coming up very soon uh, as well. So you want to keep uh, on top of all those. All right. Until next Monday. See ya. Bye.